just is still running. It's feeling a bit warm in here. I may need to go and spray off the uh, air conditioner today. Among all the other yard work I need to do. Fortunately, I got the grass cut last night. So, uh, that doesn't need to be done. But I've got a whole bunch of trees that need to be trimmed back. And, as I said, the air conditioner unit needs to be sprayed off because of all the cottonwood that's building up on it. I might need to run to the gas station because the tractor has no gas. will need to use the tractor to trim, well, not use the tractor to trim back the trees, but I will need to uh, use the tractor to hitch the cart to, so I've got something to put the tree limbs in that I trim. another two circuits to finish off what's on the right. We are doing fairly okay I would say. How much did we get? the first load. So 12,000, so yeah I reckon that grain cart's probably about 12,500 if I bother to fill it completely. at field prices around here, see how much they cost. So we're here, and that field is super expensive, so is that one. But it looks like there's a couple of fields across the way, 100,000. That one's 136. I think the yield on this, I kind of guessed it to be about 36,000 we'd make from selling the crop on this field. So it's not sufficient to buy a field outright. But it may be, I don't know. I'm, lo I'm looking at the land on this map and it doesn't feel like it's expensive. So um, we might be able to buy a couple of fields early on. Kind of 
kind of like to buy those big grass fields at the back. Maybe not necessarily keep them as grass, as I said. Although at this stage, grass is a very, very good crop to buy or to grow. Just because the equipment can be fairly cheap and the uh, you get four or five yields per year off of it. So that does wonders for your income. I think once again at the end of this round lap we will empty the harvester so I'm fairly certain we're not going to get around again I mean it's, yeah that said it's about 35% down and back and that's fine but we're not going to have 30% capacity when we finish actually it's closer to 20% there and back 40% there and back even let's do math math is hard so I'll drop this off Yeah, I've noticed some of the mod trailers tend to fill flat. So it doesn't matter where you drop uh, the grains. If I drop it at the back, you just end up with a, a flat layer. This one, if you overload at the back, it's going to build up higher. I don't know if that affects the handling or not. You'll see it's not affecting the level at the front. So you kind of need to spread it around. And it will do the same left to right. So I kind of like that in a grain cart. I think one of the grain carts I was using, oh not that one. Um, one of the grain carts I was using on Oakfield Farm just loaded flat. So, not the greatest. Kind of bugged me a bit. But, uh, okay. I will do one more trip down and up. We'll empty again. And then probably do another cut in, let the worker loose and go take what's in the cart back to the farm. And then the big question, do I look for a contract or do I cut the grass? And the thing with the grass is we've got all day well we've got two days to do it we don't have to do everything on our farm today although the way I'm looking at it if I can get my farm stuff done as early as I can then you know pick up contracts as and when they're available we're making sure that what we produce is being as productive as it can be. Okay, yeah, it's about 20% per 
pass up and down. I think I might have killed a couple of sunflowers there on the turn. We need to be careful about that when we do that. It's the 25th today. So next weekend is a holiday weekend. So there will be a stream on Monday. So we will have two new episodes next week. may involve <coughs> as I said we've got the rest of this month to get this field planted with uh, the stuff um, uh, I don't know things winter crops and we don't need to plough it We don't need to, well if I get a direct seeder we don't need to cultivate it. Direct seeder options tend to be a little pricey, I think 40,000 is the cheapest I've found. And that is full. Okay. So I think rather than the cut in I will set the worker loose here. We will take the cart back to the farm again. That's about right, off you go. I still didn't look in the star. tractor classed as a medium um, but it's it's the cheapest medium tractor the Massey Ferguson 6s I think I put front loader attachers on it but I didn't buy the arms yet available for sale. I think we already looked at yeah, two Thunder Creek trailers. So uh, not interested in those quite yet. I did add that to our list available. It's an older 800 Axion. Um, that's the newer model. 185, that's 160 and you can play with the main color Ooh. black 2 black 3 Ooh, shiny Uh, 
that's kind of a matte black. I wouldn't go with a blue one, I wouldn't go with a red one. Ooh, metallic green. I'm guessing that's possibly a satin. Hard to say. But uh, yeah, you can play with the colours. Anyway. And has the GPS has oh has a front loader attached, that's nice. Um, got a weight or a three point on it. Uh, work light, standard. Extra light. I don't know. So we can have stuff. Front fenders, yes. Mud guard, yes. Wide. So it has its options and starts at two hundred just shy of two hundred horsepower. Anyway, so It's one of CMT Software's vehicles, and obviously, um, I have tended to feature his vehicles on the farm since Lawfolds, when he had the only class equipment available. Well, class tractors. Um, I believe there were others who did harvesters. Okay. Oh, we're nearly done for the full field length, or what we're doing as the length. Turn the lights off, turn the engine off. Send the worker home. And off we go some more. How are we doing? We're at 58% full. Yeah, it's 20% to get back. Okay. So we can go back, we might not be able to come up again. That's fine. Do the cut in around here, yeah. As I said, I probably should have gone a little bit more at this end. Give me a bit more clearance from those trees. should be able to run down here, turn around and start coming back and there'll be enough room for the grain cart to uh, slip along this row again. But uh, we are definitely close to the end of this one. Sure, how uh, where I'm positioned relative to the end of the field. Mm. 
looks like I'm right on the edge of this. Which is pretty much a good placement here. There may be some invisible sunflowers on there, however. So I think I will run along that line just in case. Yes. Oh, the invisible sunflowers. That is something to do with density of the crop at a given area and what density triggers the appearance of a, you know, a sunflower um, thing. So if each plant point has a hundred um, you know, a, a density factor. If you're at 50% or more, it will show you a sunflower. And if you're less than 50%, it won't show you a sunflower, but potentially there could be a sunflower there that needs to be harvested. We are definitely going to hit the uh, stop now thing before we get to the end, I think. But consequently, anywhere that you can see dark patches in the stubble, um, there is the possibility that there is a sunflower there to be harvested. And it's not a hundred percent sunflower for the you know, that point on the field. But if each point yield say 10 litres then there may be between one and five litres at these points now I I've been paying attention and when you get to the end of the row there is a a break in the um, in the swath that the harvester ends up leaving oh, this is gonna be tight I know the tractor can do it, but I'm pretty sure the trailer can't. Because the tractor has narrow tyres on it. Because we use it for spraying and other things. So I'm probably going to have to reverse and then. Uh, pull into the middle of this lane. It's got a long pipe for the uh, uh, the size of the, the headers that this thing can run. Ooh, don't do that. If we run here, that's fine. <coughs> okay, put that in and turn that on. Oh, the uh, the beacons do automatically turn off. That's nice. Two hundred, two thousand three hundred pounds today. Oh, and I killed a, another sunflower because of the uh, distance to the edge of this field. Okay. What is the time? Ten. Just gone ten. So we're running about an hour. And as 
has said we are nearly done. And we already broke the one hour. Oh, that's, yeah, that would explain the 2,001, 250 pounds. We broke one hour on the harvester, so we had to pay another hour's lease. Other than that, it's just been uh, the occasional wage. I may add the worker manager in. I haven't got that at the moment, so workers are all random letters of the alphabet. But there is a worker manager where you can limit the 